What's going on you silver surfers? Today we're going to keep going on the bin, the green bin that I started last time. And without further ado, let's dig in. Alright. I'm going to start today with... And I'm going to start today with these, and I have a few of these because they came in a big set. Uh, these are Universal Monster figures. Yeah, copyright 2000 Sideshow Toys. Really cool. A really cool set. This, The Mole People, this is a movie I've never seen. So I don't know much about this one. I got this as a gift for my sister when I was maybe a teenager. I really liked it then because I just like monsters and I like movies and things like that, but I'm starting to gather a whole new appreciation for these because I'm actually watching a lot of these Universal monster movies now. I watch Sven Gulli every Saturday, most every Saturday. He plays a lot of these old monster movies and I've seen quite a few of the Universal ones now. So I'm really getting an appreciation for them. Like their visuals seem to be a step up from a lot of their competitors. Just great makeup. It's, you know, some of the stories I like better than others, but that's that's just opinion, really. I am a fan of Universal Monsters. And this guy looks really cool, and I'm looking forward to seeing this movie someday. This is the first of quite a few of these. <laughs> All right, we have a cardboard thing from the Casper movie, it looks like. 1996. I'm one famished phantom. Yeah. Alright, this guy I love. Look at him. Wow. I don't remember where he came from, but just look at that face. He's a little goofy. Made in China. No other info. <laughs> I love him. All right, we, here we have SpongeBob. Easter SpongeBob. Uh, when I recorded this, Easter was just a few days ago, so kind of fitting. Yeah. There were little candies that came in these. I think I remember having a couple of these. They're fun. I used to like SpongeBob. Like the early ones, they were they were fun. Actually, I had a couple of DVDs and would watch Spongebob as an adult, you know, in my 20s. Just watch them before I went to bed. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I find them relaxing. His nose is a little bent, but... I'm putting it back into place. All right. Looks like a race car driver here for Team Tonka. Yeah, again, these might have been hand-me-downs from one of my older brothers or I got them when I was very young because these are like if I had to guess I would say like late 70s early 80s figures all right here's another one of these the mummy I think this is Boris Karloff have not yet seen the mummy this version I've seen other versions. It's got a scroll there. Yeah, fun. All right, I have a electronic mini piano. I remember I, it doesn't work anymore. It takes watch batteries, I think. Yeah, it takes three watch batteries, so I may be able to get this thing working again. Now, I used to play with this a lot, I think, when I was a little kid. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, we have a... Ooh. Can you see? Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. There's some trippy Doctor Strange stuff. <laughs> okay, this guy I think made a cameo in the, in the last video. Uh, this is one of the blockheads from Gumby 
And uh, I went through a phase where I was just enamored with Gumby, like teenager. I, I just really discovered how weird Gumby was. If you haven't ever seen like the original Gumby animations, just go watch them. They are trippy, weird, fun. The the blockheads were is that what they're called? The blockheads. There were a couple of them, and they were. Kind of the bad guys, I would say. Copyright, Prima Toy, Trend Masters, no year. I think this came in a set, so you'll probably see some more Gumby. This, I believe, went to a War Machine figure, probably from the Toy Biz line. Uh, I'll put this aside. This is... Some of these things will be mysteries that hopefully will be solved over time. All right, got an Ewok. Don't remember which one. It's not Wicket. Lagre. There, I, I don't remember many of their names. But this may have come from the Power of the Force line. I have a lot of those, but I kept them in the package. That's one collection that I kept in the package mostly. So I don't know why this one's loose. Maybe someone gave it to me loose. It says copyright LFL 83. 83 is when Return of the Jedi came out, I think. But I don't know if this is an original Return of the Jedi figure or not. Let me know if you know. I'm not sure. We have a little, uh, little clip on Troll Doll with a Misfits haircut or, or kind of like an 80s new wave haircut. <laughs> Put a little product in there. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, I definitely did this. But I don't really know why. Yeah. Okay, we have this little falcon on a stand. Kind of fancy stand. I think this came with... I have this set that I got. I think it was called Holy Land Heroes. And it was Moses and Ramses. And I believe this was Ramses' bird or falcon or something. I bought it. It was... I bought it because it was funny. Just, I don't know why. At, at the time, when I was a teenager, I thought it was funny to have action figures of these Bible characters on his own. He's kind of a fun little bird, and it's a fun little stand. <laughs> All right, this looks like something out of a vending machine. Ooh, oh, I'm sorry if that's holy cow. All right, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna do that again. I think I just ruptured my eardrum. So if you see blood start to come out of my ear, uh, you'll know why. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a thing that exists that I own. Okay, some nice sunglasses. These were definitely my mom's. <laughs> I don't know why I have them, but According to the rules of Nostalgia Dig, if it's wearable, I have to wear it for at least a little bit. Oh, yeah. I just feel cooler. I mean, my mom's pretty cool. But, man, yeah. That's nice. And I just dropped on the floor this missile which I don't remember what shot this missile, but we'll put that aside in the mystery pile. Man, the memory's flooding back. <laughs> Spiral Zone. Do you remember Spiral Zone? I didn't until this very moment, but I believe they're just, they're figures and I think they have clothing, like, like a doll, more like a, like an army, they're like army guys that fight aliens or something like that, but they're, they have clothing, like actual cloth clothing. And they came with these cassettes, 
where you could uh, hear one of their adventures. School Zone featuring Sergeant Tank Schmidt. So I'm guessing Sergeant Tank Schmidt was one of them that I had and I might might come across him. I would like to find a working cassette player and play this. Copyright 1987 Tonka. It would be fun to hear this. Yeah, maybe I'll work on that. And my mom's awesome sunglasses will go back over here. <laughs> Uh, musical, uh, fake harmonica. It's a real harmonica, but plastic harmonica. <laughs> Probably should not put my mouth on that. This has been in storage for a long time. <laughs> bleh, bleh. This is Bobby's Coaster. Is that Bobby's World? Another show I didn't really see very much. Copyright 1994. I don't know. Definitely a thing I found on the floor in a the movie theater. <laughs> oh. Cobra Black Snakes. Six pieces. Caution flammable. These were illegal, I think. <laughs> I mean, until recently. And they might even still be illegal in New York State at certain times of the year. Not sure. But they're like little... It's one of these. And you light it and it goes... And makes this big black turd <laughs> or black uh, snake. We'll call it a snake. Maybe I'll uh, light this up and see if they still work. <laughs> Not right now. I'll do it later. Ah, uh, Sports Illustrated enamel pins. Nice. I was more into sports when I was a kid than I am now. And I did get a subscription to Sports Illustrated for a year or two. And that's where these came from, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so these uh, vintage <laughs> Sports Illustrated things, kind of fun. Um, glow in the dark, part of a bug, I think. I don't, I don't know. Another one of these, the Invisible Man. Test my memory, I think Invisible Man starred Claude Rains. And then Invisible Man Returns starred Vincent Price, which I have seen that one. I've seen the Vincent Price one, which I did like. I, this one, I don't know if I've seen. Another one on my list. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Wow. Copyright 1988 Nintendo. So this would be Luigi. But just barely. Like, this is before Luigi had his own look. This is when Luigi was just Mario recolored, and then they did stick a little L on his hat. But it, it just it looks, by today's, looking through it through today's eyes, it looks like Mario wearing different clothes. But yeah, back in the day, this was Luigi. It's kind of a fun keychain. Okay, we're going to end this video on this. This is a cassette single, and for those people younger than I am watching, we used to get our music on, you know, I know you know about cassettes, but I don't know, they used to sell singles where it's basically one song on one side and one song on the other side. And then you could get the whole album, which was, you know, five or six songs on each side, usually. This is uh, from the first Tim Burton Batman movie, which is my, my personal, like, favorite Batman event of all time. Because that was, I was just right at the perfect age for that to totally blow my mind. I loved it. Prince did the entire soundtrack for that movie. And most of the songs felt like they had nothing to do with with Batman at all. These were songs like Prince. I've heard 
He's well known for having a large archive of unreleased music, even to this day, long after his death. There are a lot of Prince songs that no one's ever heard. And I have a feeling he reached in, in 1988 or 89 when they came to him. They re- he reached into his archive and just grabbed a handful of songs. It's like, okay, here's your album. And then he just did one sort of remix using clips from the movie called Bat Dance, which is it's great and funny. This one is called Party Man. That was a song that was about the Joker. And the B-side is Feel You Up parentheses, short stroke. Very Batman-related material there, I'm sure. (laughs) I mean, this is Prince we're talking about, so, you know. Yeah, again, another reason to find, like this, you could probably look on YouTube or whatever and hear this song. I don't know about the action, or the spiral zone. That might be lost media, (laughs) but this, you could probably hear this song if you wanted to. So if, if you're curious, go look it up. It might be on Spotify. I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, we're going to end it there today. Uh, if you enjoyed, consider subscribing. It really helps. So come back. See me soon. This dig will continue. And have a good day. Bye.